Hello YouTube, Spidey from Views here, back again for another toy review. Today we're looking at the Amazing Spider-Man movie series, Ultra Postal Spider-Man. I have wanted this figure for a long time, but I could never get my hands on it because my Walmart and anything never held them in stock. So, they finally got them. I think they got them yesterday because he still wasn't on the... You know, when they scan it, you know, he's still not available, like on number or whatever. But yeah, so we're gonna look at the packaging. It's cool packaging, you got a picture of Spider-Man there. This is main Spider-Man and it says movie series. So that's very cool. You got a picture of the figure in there. 20 plus articulations. That's kind of weird. And then you got it all ultra posable, the known different language, and it's Spider-Man. Take a look at the back. So you got the figure in a variety of poses. If you notice on this figure, or the picture here is a open for a web hand, a shooting hand, and a fist. We look at the figure. He has two open hands. I wish they would have put the hands up like that, like they did on this figure here, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, let's see if he's in the wave. He got this, they, they, they all kind of look like the movie one, but they're just all like, you know, different, and you got the lizard there, which, uh, I kind of do want to get, but I mean, he looks like a crappy figure, down there, all the stuff, so, uh, yeah, just pull this thing up, there's a figure in the tray, there's the figure, I really like this figure. I'm really glad that all the money Hasbro spent on uh, this guy was for articulation. Uh, oh, I just want to really quickly say there's been a number of guys who did uh, reviews of this guy, which are really good. Uh, Sean Long showed him his prime and HD toy theater. Uh, it was really cool. Good reviews. I'm not going to link them because you probably already saw them. But uh, yeah, they were good reviews. Of, uh, as figures. So yeah, like I said, all the money was put into the articulation on this guy. Not for accessories, like as we see in other figures in the wave. You know, um, and this is, I think, is the only one in the wave that was truly made for collectors. Uh, but he does have a variety of articulation. Now, uh, just a selling point of this figure is his articulation. So we can take a look at that. His head can fully rotate up and down, side to side. He has ball joints at the shoulder, out, in, forward, and back. He does have a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows. And he has a ball hinged uh, wrist. So you can move it in and out. And you can turn it. Has a diaphragm joint which can move back a little bit forward a little bit and side to side. You can line this thing up here, the stripe, and you can move it up and out. So he has a ball jointed hip, thigh swivel, double jointed knee, uh, the ankle can move up, down, and it can rock. Got the ankle rock there. Let's see. Now, overall, I do think that this is the more movie accurate uh, figure for between him and this one. I'm just going to talk about this one real quick. Uh, now, what Marvel Slug does is they, they do designs of figures, of their movie figures, like, like whatever they have. So I probably bet they did this. Figure in this figure a while ago when he still had the yellow eyes in the movie, uh, and he also doesn't have the the soul like the these things. So I bet you like you know this one is yeah this one was made a uh, earlier than this one because this is obviously more movie accurate because I believe they got rid of the yellow eyes and he does have this silver thing on the bottom of shoes or whatever they are. But yeah, like I said, it's a very unitard looking, uh, I said, I think I said it in this movie actually, but very, it's like a unitard almost, it's, it looks cooler without the yellow eyes, 
I mean, but uh, I don't know. I like I like this costume of Spider-Man. I just don't like the lizard. Lizard one I can't stand. He looks cooler without the other eyes. Let me tell you, it makes a difference. But he's a very skinny looking figure, very lanky, which Spider-Man should be. Uh, I really think they got his size uh, to a T on this guy. I do like his head sculpt. And these webs, how they're uh, sculpted in there. I mean, it's nothing like uh, this figure with they actually painted on there. But he does have a bit of a texture in him. Like this, like uh, this figure here, it's got like that kind of a uh, meshy kind of texture. You can kind of make out the web shooters. Uh, they're right there. Uh, you can't really, because they're right here. It's a dot. Uh, let's see. So you got that stripe there. You got this spider kind of bleeding down. Pretty cool. I don't like how, like, uh, this looks at the very tip of his toe. Really just a red spot there. It kind of looks like it's it's wear, but it's not. Uh, to call this guy super poseable, I mean, there is articulation they could have added. Could have easily added a waist swivel and a calf rotation. Uh, this guy has the calf rotation. Uh, so... My overall thoughts on this figure, if you're a, a Marvel a Universe collector and you collect three and three quarter inch figures, uh, then yeah, this is a must buy, but if you're a Marvel select collector or six inch collector, then don't bother, it's just, it'll be a waste of your time. Let's do a quick size comparison with the uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive Spider-Man. Uh, so you can see how he stands. <laughs> this guy's a bit skinnier. Uh, overall, you know, I, I do think this is probably my favorite Spider-Man figure from over the universe, at least. And, you know, but I think these guys may be a two-way time. Maybe it's just because I like this guy because he's sending you a comic book exclusive. But, uh, yeah. Spider-Man here, all my... Little Spider Man, uh, let's do a little uh, display here. Oh, no, let's not do that. Okay. Anyways, guys, this might actually be. Uh, this might actually be filmed right after Spider Man movie. But right now it is uh, June 30th. That's yeah, the June 30th right now. So this probably will be uploaded after the Spider Man movie. But uh, if it isn't then so uh, so let's see uh, after this video I'm going to be uploading an AC Bay video and after that there will be two more reviews and those two reviews will be on some G.I. Joe's so start with some G.I. Joe reviews uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review uh, it's been pretty long so I'm gonna just put the figure back in the frame and I'll see you guys later. Peace.